Hello. I figured I would do something for 25,000 subscribers. YouTube tells me it's a milestone, so here we are. Before we get into this, I wanted to quickly promote the Discord. There isn't much going on there, but there could be. And when you think about it, that really makes it an empty canvas with limitless possibilities. Also, there is a suggestions channel. If you're interested, follow your intuition, and I'm sure you'll be able to figure out where the link is. Okay, here are some questions and answers. Two questions. What are your interests outside of music, and who are your favorite musical artists? My interests generally fit under the umbrella of media, meaning music, but also television, movies, written texts, games, etc. For music, a modest chunk of things I listen to are soundtracks, so here's a bunch of media with neat music. For individual artists, I mostly listen to playlists, but there are some people that I follow. Here are a few. Master Boot Record makes retro synthy stuff, much of which has a classically influenced sound. Clowncore makes an indescribable combination of things, all of which are very cool. Olivier Messiaen was a 20th century composer who used a lot of very out there harmony. Sevish also makes experimental music, but of the modern electronic microtonal kind. Will Wood has a varied catalog of rock adjacent music. And I suppose you can't go wrong with JSB. Do you want to have a career as a soundtrack slash music producer for shows or just do your own thing? While independent work does offer a lot of freedom, my career goal would be to work on soundtracks or other sound post-production for film, TV, or games. What got you into making music? Also, how come you never miss? I started using FL Studio in 2018 to make garbage EDM remixes. Since I was already into film, the interest naturally overlapped, and I slowly moved into making soundtrack and orchestral music. And I do, in fact, miss. I dislike a lot of my older tracks. Plus, you guys don't see everything that stays unreleased. Which of your creations are you most proud of? I do like the most recent track quite a bit, but I have to go with the Spooky Month EP from last year. It has a lot of sonic variety, which is a challenge in some ways, but also very fun to plan out. Why tuba boss themes? I saw the Tarantula Wizard video when it first hit the algorithm and thought, wow, that's a fun gimmick. Then I forgot about it until the Lizardborn ones gained niche popularity more than a year later, if I remember correctly. I had talked to some friends about doing image boss themes as a group challenge, but decided to just release the first one I made. It took off with the rest of the meme shortly afterwards, so I kept doing it. What was your reaction to the popularity of your tuba videos? Did you expect them to do well, or were you surprised? Given the limited popularity of the tracks that already existed, I didn't expect the meme to grow as much as it did, so there's no way I could have predicted the way videos like the Archmage or Accordion themes would take off. Well, at the time, I thought they were my strongest work. I was still an amateur to music production, completely new to soundtrack-style music, posting to a blank channel. Why a traffic cone? Is it a VLC player logo reference? The traffic cone is an inside joke from 2017. I've been using it on and off for years. Do you have any plans for big musical events, something like what you did with the Halloween songs this year? Through that project, I found that I actually prefer the EP format to singles. While I will still probably release a lot of singles because they're easier, I have a couple EPs concepted in my content ideas list. Additionally, there is a long-term project that I started back in August or September of 2020. It has evolved immensely and involves a lot of writing, something that I hope to develop through it. In that sense, it's more a personal project with music as a byproduct, so I don't know when it will be done or if I'll ever even finish. What software do you make music with? I use FL Studio 20 as my DAW. It doesn't really have an optimal workflow for soundtracky stuff, but at the end of the day, DAW doesn't really matter very much. Learning how to use whatever software you have and how to write and produce music generally is much more important. Then from a sound point of view, VSTs are going to have the largest effect. On that front, I still use a lot of stuff from Native Instruments Complete, which was what I started doing cinematic music with, particularly these contact patches. I also use these third-party contact patches a lot. Here are a few that I've picked up more recently, but seem promising. And here are some more niche contact patches that I've liked so far. For non-contact sampled instruments, I use these pretty frequently. I also recently tried out a couple things in the sign player, though with those they are again just promising. I haven't used them enough to know how good they'll actually really end up being. For synths, I mostly use Serum and the Sub, though I will occasionally go for these ones. For basic effects, here are my go-tos. Then for distortion and sound design type stuff, I tend to use these. How long does it take to produce one track? It depends. Many early tracks were one to two day projects that totaled five to 10 active hours. The mech one is an outlier with about 35 hours on music plus a bunch of uncounted hours on the visualizer. Recent stuff tends to range from 10 to 20 hours. The Spooky Month EP, for example, was 75 total. Cinematic Synthy Something had a lot of rewrites, so it had more like 80 hours logged. The Sinfonietta title menu track was only eight, but the recent two, which is really one track with separately released sections, had 120 hours logged over many, many different iterations and redos before the current version of the battle music, which has at least 50 more. Do you have any tips for an aspiring musician like me? There are two components to this. In a broad sense, what do I recommend for learning music, and specifically how to write a track? In the broad sense, I have four major recommendations. One, learn musical language. Having the language to describe anything you are learning helps immensely with exploration. Two, 
actually finish tracks. Developing an idea is far harder than getting down 16 bars you like, so practicing that is crucial. Then release or at least show those tracks to people for feedback. Three, listen to a lot of music. I would recommend a variety of genres, something that I'm trying to be better about myself, but even with just one genre, you can always learn. Listening gives you the opportunity to ask questions about music. Four, use the internet as a resource. You have an inconceivable amount of musical information at your disposal. Here are some channels I've learned from, or if there's a composer or producer that you like, there's like a 50% chance you can find VODs from streams or presentations where they talk about their music. Also, there are numerous message boards where most questions you can think of have probably already been answered. On a more specific level, I approach writing tracks from two directions. Either I play around with sound design or piano until I happen to cross something that I like, then expand that out, or I come up with an abstract idea, say, skeleton EDM, then come up with ways to turn that idea into music and expand it. I'm sorry to say that elaborating farther than that is quite difficult. Most of my process comes down to trial and error, asking, I wonder about X, playing around with it, and then deciding whether to keep or scrap it. There are small tips for creating a semi-balanced mix or certain musical feelings, but those types of things are too numerous and specific to cover here. Okay, thanks for 25k.